Welcome to the ninth episode of Subject Matters. I'm Cameron. And I'm Shayna. And we're excited for this episode because this is our first recording of 2019. Woo! But this is the third upload of 2019. <laughs> but it's the first time we're recording, so... Yeah. Woo! Um, so I thought that we could start with this podcast with recapping over some of the best and worst things of 2018. Shana? Um, I agree. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait, so I, I just, so I started looking up, um, like, the list of worst things that happened in 2018, just to refresh my memory, and they definitely started out really intensely with something that was really prominent in the beginning of the year, um, but oh my god. <laughs> um, what was it? Did you read it? <laughs> No. Then I'm not going to say. Uh, okay. Um, but, um. So the Tide Pod thing is definitely uh, a very a prominent 2018. Thing. The Logan thing. Paul thing. Yikes. Um. I think. Uh. Was there? Did anything good happen in 2018? Um. Yeah, there was a lot of really good things that happened in 2018. I'm sorry. The way that this list put things in certain orders. Um. It was just like the Florida bridge collapse is number five, and then X is tw- X being uh, killed was number seven. <laughs> Those That's are like weird. very close. Are these worst things of 2018? Yeah. What? These are just. Re- I need to look up like pop culture <laughs> things because these are just terrible things that happened. Yeah, we don't want like terrible events. We want like. I'll just do worst internet trends. We'll see about that. Mm, okay. Mm, all right. Mm, okay. Mm. So the first one in all of them is the Tide Pod Challenge thing. Really? Um. Yeah. So, like, I don't remember how it started other than I think that people were, like, forbidden snack because it looks like a fruit snack. I had a funny idea once. I would never do this for anyone who's listening. Mom, Dad, if you're listening. Uh... I wouldn't do this. I just want to clarify again. But if you um, had a Tide Pod and you put saran wrap around it and took a video and made it look like you were eating it. Yeah, I think it would still end up in your mouth. And that's the bad part. That's a lot of chemicals. <laughs> One time I like used a Tide Pod in laundry and I like, I don't know what I did afterwards, but I was like eating food and I licked my fingers and it tasted like chemicals. And I was like, Ew, bleh, bleh. No. <laughs> I guess like, I don't know, residual chemical came off from the Tide Pods. Yum. <laughs> Yummy. Hashtag These yum. showing like really bad challenges. But like, I guess we can probably go off. off TikTok. Here. Um, I don't think that it was, I think it started out as a bad thing. Then it came it as really like, annoying. it changed into like a... It's like Vine. I think yeah. that if you're looking for Vine, that's where it is now. TikTok. <laughs> yeah, like that's where I'm seeing Musically became content. Vine. Wow. Isn't that weird? Thunk. thunk. Who would have thunk? Thunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little while since we've recorded yeah. anything, so I feel like the... Uh, <laughs> It's uh, a few days before midterms now. <laughs> <laughs> How many midterms do you have, Shayna? I only have one. Oh, I have two. Yikes. What's yours? Um, I have my stat midterm, and that's it. And that's on the last day, too. So I basically have three days off, which is pretty sick. I have psych and chem, but I think I'm going to come in every day. Why? Because, like, some days we're going to record the podcast, maybe, like, that's one true. or two. And then, oops, and then, I don't know, I just feel like I just get work done. And I also might bring in, like, my TV to Mr. Healy's room and what? play Super Smash Bros. in there. <laughs> that seems dangerous well, and really tedious. My middle name is Brett. <laughs> Wait, look. Yeah, he's, I know. He's laying eggs. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so if you... Since you can't see what Cameron's doing right now, one of the eagles has a hole in it, and he's just popping the beads out. Stop. He's going to deflate. (laughs) I'll buy Mr. K a new one. All right, whatever. Anyways, so 
We're a huge mess, but um, the we are. worst things of 2018 is um, definitely the Tide Pod Challenge came out of that, and it was really weird, and I've never had the urge to do that, but never. I don't think anyone at our school did it either. They. I thought Momo did. So well, I think Momo might have. I don't a lot know. of people said that Momo did it. Well, Momo's still alive, so <laughs> that's the important part. But I don't remember <laughs> anyone doing it. But um, even if they did, like it wasn't a thing that was super prominent, like the internet made it seem to be. I think Joe did it. Joe, no. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he didn't do it. Joe definitely did not do it. Um. <clears throat> yeah, there was that, and then. What else? Mm. I feel like there was a lot of stuff that I can think of before we started recording, and then it but immediately now. went out of my mind. Um, what else uh, was the thing that people were doing that was, like, real stupid? Hmm. The Kiki thing? That kind of sucked. Like, it was... <laughs> <laughs> the song was all right, but... I feel, like uh, that was, I feel like that was a meme for, like, non-memers. That was for just random adults on the internet. Yeah. That, like, like people started doing it, and they're like, "Uh, yeah, I'm gonna join in." That was this was like the year of a lot of adults getting involved in like adolescent activity. Did yeah. you see that? Like, like on TikTok, and then like, can you not make a mess? <laughs> no, um, on TikTok, like, there's a lot of like grown adults, yeah, and I'm like, that's kind of weird. I don't remember there Hashtag being. Sketch. That many people on Vine. <clears throat> yeah, like my neighbor who's like 10 is on TikTok. And then, um. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And then, um, the Uganda Knuckles thing got really <laughs> annoying really oh, yeah. fast. Like that thing I was died like, so quick. I was all about that. And after like three days of it, I was like, yeah, this stinks. Um, no, it went really fast. It was. Like, the first day people were saying it, we're like, haha, that's kind of funny. The way. <laughs> and then, uh, after, like, I started hearing other people in school saying it, I'm like, oh. Oh, it's here now? <laughs> Ew. Uh, like, this is not the same year or anything, but a couple of years ago when, like, Damn Daniel was a thing. Damn Daniel! Like, me and Bella thought it was so funny when we first heard it, because it was just, like, on Instagram. Yeah. And then... Immediately, two days later, I heard people saying it in school, and I'm like, it's dead. Like, it's gone. I found a video of Game Grumps from, like, a year before Damn Daniel came out, where Aaron says Damn Daniel to Dan. And I was like, <gasps> Wait, let me make sure we're recording, right? Mm, I'm pretty sure we were. Yeah, but I gotta make sure that it's recording the picture instead of actually us. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, and then the, the like, you so precious when you Wait, smile. Wait, what, what's the radio version? You so, you so precious oh. when you <laughs> smile. Um, that's what it was, and I'm like, they could have done better. Yeah. You so, Fairy. you so. <laughs> you so very precious Wait, when you smile. Wait, what's the smile. other one? It's like, I'm so very happy you're, you're alive. alive. <laughs> That was a good song. Oh, I, I still listen to it. Yeah, I think that was that was such yeah. a wholesome meme. <laughs> like, I, I really it's the like first that. song on my absolute bops playlist. Just absolute it, bops. Just because the artist's name starts with B. Oh my god, do you remember the Super Bowl selfie kid? No. Oh. The one that like took a picture on the Ellen, or or no 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 sorry he took a picture they put her, him on Ellen he took a picture with Justin Timberlake and people were like making parodies of him tweeting like <laughs> I don't know I just took a picture with this old dude or like I don't even know who this is <gasps> what <laughs> or no <laughs> no it was it was him taking a picture with Justin Timberlake and saying I just met Ellen and like I was, just met you Ellen you don't remember that no. hang on like <laughs> you don't remember that at all. What? Dustin Timberlake? I don't get it. Does he look like Alan? I don't know, man. It was. Just <laughs> I don't know either. Like... <laughs> but, like, it, everyone was, like, freaking out with, about it for, like, three seconds, and then Ellen brought him on the show, and they were like, oh, God. Oh, Ellen. <laughs> she always does that. Is Ellen good or bad? <laughs> Ellen's, like, she's great, but at the same time, anytime anyone has a minor amount of internet fame, she's like, bring them on. I feel like Ellen is, like, the world's white mom. <laughs> 
the world's white gay mom. I love her. <laughs> I forgot that. She really <laughs> my white that. gay mom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love my white gay mom. <laughs> I, I seriously love Ellen. I used to watch her when um when I was a kid. Like I would come home and like immediately watch Ellen in my. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Stop. I can't even describe what he's doing. <laughs> that it doesn't. It doesn't translate well. <laughs> Um, so I used to get home from school, and I would watch Ellen, and my dad would be like, why are you watching daytime TV? But... I used to watch American American Idol with my mom. What happened to that show? It got canceled. Did it? Yeah, a long time ago. Oh, that's sad. Oh, the change my mind meme, too. <clears throat> that, I never really got around with that. Um, I think it worked for a little bit. And then, um, what else was there? You so, you so precious when you smile. <laughs> Sal. Sal? Sal like Volcano? Yeah. Sal memes have been the, the one thing They're that brings right? us together. Yeah, like, in the past, like, two, three months. Oh, that's a lot longer than I thought. <clears throat> what other memes? Oh yeah, somebody touching my spaghetti. That was that was really early this year, I think. Last year. Last year? Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Forgot that it's not currently this year. I love that thing that you posted like on Snapchat a few years ago when you were like, when the year turns <laughs> and you still write the old year and it was like 1973 or something. I think I put like 1784 and then I turned <laughs> that in to Mr. Young and he was so confused. <laughs> I just remember so him funny. I remember him calling me up and then um, I was like, oh, it was just like a joke. And he went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he was just like, wait, what? Like, oh. <laughs> I, I thought I was, like, real clever with that, but... It's, fu it's funny. I probably copied it from somewhere. By accident. Whack. But, um... <laughs> quack. I said whack. Oh. Oh, I thought you said quack. <laughs> it's the most, like, out-of-place <laughs> podcast. Um, so, now that we've got over the memes, we started out with something entirely different, but... You know, that's how it goes, I guess. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, it'd be like that. But, um, so I was thinking about it, and, like, do you have, like, a color association with certain subjects for school? I sure do. Some of the classes, I don't really have a color that I associate it with, but most of the classes I do. do what you, are Do you want to hear about them? Of course. So, I think this falls under all languages, but I just do it for Latin, Red. I disagree, but go. I just keep going. I'll state my opinion now. <clears throat> I think math is like a yellow. Um, science, I would consider a green. Yeah, Shana shaking. I agree. I Shana's agree. nodding her head. Um, hmm. What other classes are there that exist? <laughs> oh, English classes. I guess. I guess that's like a red or a blue. For me. <laughs> Are you waiting for my opinion? I don't know. I just feel weird like saying it because last year I actually had color coded things for subjects, but this year I have, I have a folder with a horse on it. I have a fol <laughs> I have a folder that says I literally can't. <laughs> it's like pink and sparkly, and I have like I have a folder that has a bunch of tacos on it. That's that one's for Love that. that one's for Latin. Um, um, the I literally can't is for calc. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I, um, my colors are, red is always for any type of math. It doesn't matter. Like, I think geometry was an exception, but I kept my, um, my folder. Like, geometry to me sa seems green. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, you just showed me the glitterly can. Holy, oh. The sorry, green. sorry guys. I, I found a Kit Kat. He's it just fell out of my bag. ASMR opening. Where did you yeah, even get Yeah, is here ASMR. Water? Did you even get a large Kit Kat? We're definitely throwing this podcast in the trash at this <laughs> point. Um, I got this at uh, Walgreens. Oh, you just bought it for yourself? 
Yep. I'm like, just, like wondering. a few days ago. Um. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I give up. <laughs> um, so my colors are always red for math, green for science, blue or purple for English, and then orange or purple for history. It could go either way. So you want to hear something weird that happened to me the other day? Mm -hmm. So um, I was at Color Guard because I needed to get clips for a Fox News story that I'm doing. And um, I went to the bathroom. I'm not going to say who was in there, but someone was in there. And it was the custodian's bathroom, the one that's by their office. So it only fits one person. And I, I knock on the door, and the person inside goes, uh, I'm in here, but... <laughs> and I'm like, but what? You don't want to come in there? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but... <laughs> like, yeah. Like, what do you mean, but? Is it someone I know? Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll... Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm in here, but. Uh, I'm in here, but. That another stream. I had another thing to say as well, but. Mm. Okay. You know what I hate? What? I hate. I've seen this so much recently, especially on like these two specific apps that I have, where <clears throat> ads pop up. That's all fine. Ads are good. But there's fake X's oh, on the screen. That's the worst. That you click it and then it brings you to the app store. And I'm like, Yeah, that should be a rule that you can't do that. Yeah, like what the heck? They're just like, you're trying to be overly eager to get rid of our ad. Yeah. Well, we're gonna bring you a, to a direct link to our. Do they think that's gonna work? Uh -huh. Do they think that you're gonna click on the fake? Well, X now I have to buy it. <laughs> I mean, it's they not, got me. <laughs> you got me. You know, it'd be like that. No, I, I don't know how they, they get away with that. I feel like that seems like it's against the law. That's against the law. But like, yeah, like I'm just playing an app, an ad pops up. I wait like five, I wait five seconds. I wait the amount of time that's reasonable. And I click the X and it brings me to the app store. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> you are <Come> the worst. <laughs> you are the worst app. Um, that's how Mafia works. <laughs> when when I see that kind of when that happens normally I just delete the app. <laughs> I'm just like you know what I don't care about you and your ads. Wow. Um, so um, my one of my favorite things is so I was at um, I was at work and they played the food sh the Food Network and for a while they were playing um, this other network called Pluto and it takes a bunch of different. Um, like channels and different YouTube and like so it'll be like old cooking shows and YouTube series and like random miscellaneous things that revolve around like crafting and food and so one of them that kept on coming on was a show called License to Grill and um wonderful name by the way and it's like very early 2000s productions quality and um the main thing is it's just this dude in his backyard every single time. There's two grills, and he's prepping and making everything outside in his backyard for, like, some random party he has to cook for. Like every episode? Oh, yeah, he's, like, always having friends over or something. Is it, like, scripted? Or is it, like, actually a thing? It seems like it is actually his house. But, like, is like there actually outside. parties? There are, like, it's weird because they'll show, like, a shot of all of his friends just, like, hanging out at a table. Same shot then, every time. No, like, <laughs> no, it's different. But, like, his friends are hanging out at a table, and then it'll cut to him, and he's over at the grill, and we're like, that must be so weird if those are actually his friends sitting mm. at a table waiting for him. Like, the Food Network camera crew is there, and they're all just like, so, like, we have to, like, mumble because they said we can't talk too loud. or like. <laughs> So then he's just, like, filming this whole show around that dinner party. I like to imagine that they're all at the table and there's like eight of them, like four on each side. They just have their arms on the table and they're not <laughs> talking and they're just like... <laughs> they're, they're waiting with like bibs <laughs> and stuff. Um, no, and the guy seems like real fun. He's always wearing like secondary colored shirts, like orange and like... <laughs> but uh, the guy seems nice, but um, I'm like, this is such an odd concept for a show. How much can you grill? Yeah. Uh, I marked this down because I uh, 
I I was listening to the podcast when I was editing it, the Christmas episode. Did you or did you not get scrunchies and shoes for Christmas? Um, I did get shoes. I'm wearing one of the pairs. And Whoa. I'm, I have a scrunchie on my wrist. Um, I got more of the scrunchies for my friends, but I did get some. So thank you for asking. Nice. Did you get that thing that you wanted? I <laughs> did you get any pops? I don't think I, I did get some pops. Not yeah. from Santa, but... Uh, you want to know something weird that I think, <laughs> you know something weird I think about, like, opening gifts? What? I feel like, I do this, I think, a lot of the times. I feel like a lot of other people do it too, but don't realize. When you get a gift, sometimes you feel obligated to say why it's good that they gave it to you, or, yeah. like, what you're going to use it for. <laughs> like, oh, a blender, I can make smoothies with this. <laughs> Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? Or you're like, wow, this is so great because I needed <laughs> I need this RC car. crutches. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, now I can play with this toy car all the time. Thank because, you. Because people, like, kind of just, like, look at you while you're opening yeah. your presents. So you're like, like, wow, I'm so excited because I needed this and this is the reason why. Like, you feel like you have to say why it's a good gift. And they're like, yeah, I bought it for you. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't wait to make smoothies with this. But, like, I feel like pretty much almost everybody does it. Yeah, and it's, and no I one guess calls it's just, it like, also there's that thing where, like, I'm so not great with reactions yeah. either. I'm just, like, I'm, like, when you give me a present, I'm very excited about it, regardless of what it is. But I'm just terrible at showing it. So I'll be, yeah, we, like, we I opened something. We did? Yeah. On the podcast? On the last, on the Christmas I was Christmas gonna say, one. when I opened that iPod, and I was like, <laughs> cool. <Yeah. laughs> but, like... Uh, so Your dad was like, like, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like um, I disappoint a lot of people when I open their presents. And I, I think I did it again this year where, like, <clears throat> I opened something for my mom and I was like, nice. This is going to be really great. I was like, I was like, finally, <laughs> she bought me a mirror that this can hold gonna, jewelry. This is going to be really great. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. She bought me a mirror that has a jewelry box in it. And I was like, wow, this is so great because I can use all my jewelry in it. And I was like, oh, wait, there's a light in it. This is so great because my mirror co broke a couple months ago. And like, I, I realize now that I literally said that. Yeah. <laughs> like everybody does it. <laughs> That is so weird. Even if you don't think you do it, like, even not right after you open the gift, you probably do do it at some point. I know, because someone's like, oh, did you like the present? You're like, oh, my God, I loved it. <laughs> like, <laughs> because. <laughs> because. You have to, it's like you prompt yourself like a third grader, you're like, I enjoyed this book because of all the <laughs> things, because of the way it is. <laughs> Have you ever seen that video where he's like, no. he's like, wow, this is a birch. He's like, wow, it's so beautiful. You can tell it's a birch oh. because of the way it is. Oh, you mean, um... Nietzsche. Nietzsche walks. Yeah. Did I show you that? I think Tanya showed it that to me, actually. Because I heard it from Game Grumps, and then I started showing it to people freshman year. I think it might have been. Maybe she showed That's it to me neat. because you showed it to her. How neat is that? That's pretty <laughs> neat. But she she was like cracking me up over it like a couple years ago. <laughs> I remember I, sh I showed it to Anna. Remember that? Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um. Oh yeah, but I was just like thinking like when I opened my gifts from my dad and my aunt or. It was kind of my aunt, really, just because I was really tired then while we were opening gifts. So, obviously, I appreciated everything I got, and I loved them. I got five pops, and two of them were completing my collection of a certain type of pops. So, I was, like, so thankful. I got a sugar bear pop, I'm remember? I so thankful. Really? <laughs> yeah. There's a sugar bear pop? Yeah. That's know, so funny. Uh, and, um, you just got to keep it here. <laughs> yeah, I got a sugar bear, but um, I... Uh, Obviously, I loved all of them, but I, I felt like I had to, like, amp up You're my reaction just because I was so tired and I didn't want her to feel bad. I, like, it's, <laughs> I did the same thing. Like, I think um, I had to have, like, three different Christmases because um, I had one uh, at home on Christmas morning and then... I had uh, two on Christmas Day because my family's both scheduled them for the same day. And so um, I was like, I'm not going to be able to make it to one of them. I ended up, like, getting to both, but, like, I had to, 
like amp up my reactions and stuff too because I was just like I'm so tired. I'm like, like I appreciate everything yeah. and I like I'm not saying I'm tired of getting gifts, but I'm tired of reacting to getting gifts. I'm like, <laughs> wow. And like my aunt, she's uh just put it on a recorder and play it. <laughs> wow. I just like mouth it. No, um, thank you. <laughs> but like my aunt and my cousins bought me um one of those like Alexa home dot things and I was like no way, really? And like, I, I was can just use like, this in my room. <laughs> <I literally was. laughs> Did you say that? <laughs> I can use this in my room. I was like, yeah, and I like, I realized I was talking. I was like, oh my god, that's so nice of you guys. Thank you so much. And I'm like, I have to find an outlet for this because I had. Then I just started like talking. I can use this in my room for when I'm listening to music. And I'm like, why do I explain it? They bought it for me. Clearly, they know. <laughs> <laughs> they know what you're gonna use it for and then it's so funny because my aunt actually did the same thing back to me i got her a plant and she was just like she's like oh my god that's so great because i the other one that died but she's like the other one that you gave me like died and she's like and i could put this where the other one was and like we all just do it without even realizing it and i can look at it <laughs> <laughs> thank you for this plant i'm so excited to look at it <laughs> i'm so excited to for it to be in my field of vision. Oh my god. <laughs> I I'm gonna just only like I'm gonna overreact to all of the gifts I get from now on. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, you got me socks. I'm so <laughs> excited. Oh my I god, can... a plastic box. Yes. <laughs> I can use these socks to put them on my feet to give them warm. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is gonna be a very loud podcast. It's just us like, thank I you so much. I can use this pencil to write down everything in my brain. <laughs> I know, I'm just going to write down everything that pops into my head. It's... Uh, <laughs> man. It's a way over-exaggerated version. Oh, gosh. That was a lot. <laughs> I can use it in my room. I can use it in my room. And I was like, oh my god, that's so great because my mom has one in the kitchen, so I can use this one in my room. <laughs> I, uh, I had two Alexas in my room. Oh my god, I remember. And, uh... Because a few years ago, we got them, and um, this was a few years ago, so my sister was younger, and uh, it when you plug it in, it waits a little bit before it actually turns on and starts talking automatically, and it did, and it scared my sister because she didn't expect it, so she just let me have it, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, okay, but I'll, I'll keep it in case like you want it back, so I had it. And I had it, and I was planning on what I was going to, like, do with it. I was probably going to move it closer to my bed so I could talk to it quieter so the other one wouldn't activate. <laughs> and then, like, a few weeks ago, my mom's like, oh, I put the other Alexa back in Ava's room. I'm like, oh, she said I can have it. And my mom's like, okay. <laughs> Just left. <laughs> and I was like, what? Aw. Aw. You're like, oh, good night, Alexas. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Alexas. Good night. <laughs> they both say it in unison. Ew. What if you say Alexa and when they're both plugged in? Only one activates because I have them connected to the same app. Oh, yeah. that's tragic. What if I like, if I connected it to your phone, would like I be able to talk to it, but you would get the notifications of it on your phone? Probably. I didn't weird. know that there was an Alexa app. There is. I don't wow. know why I still have it. I never talked to my Alexa. <laughs> Um, I haven't even plugged mine in yet, um, to be... You haven't used it in your room? I haven't used it in my room. I was like, this is so great, because I could use it in my room. But I don't have an outlet, um, like, free right now, so I need to figure that out. But mm. I forgot, oh, I didn't do realize... Do you want one of my, like... I have, like, five of the things that have, like, power strips? six outlets on them, yeah. That'd be awesome, actually. I do have... Uh, two of those already in my room. I feel like that's a fire hazard, definitely. So maybe not. But well, it's just a fire hazard to plug like an extension cord into a extension cord. Oh man, that was the plan. <laughs> Isn't that what the fire hazard? Um, I think the fire hazard is having too many of the things plugged into one. Uh, but because it's so much like it's so much power. Much, so much power. Um. I had something. Oh, so the other day, though, my mom, so she didn't set up the Alexa right away. So, um, or the Her Amazon. Alexa or your Alexa? Uh, hers. My sister bought her, like, a full-size one. And so she didn't set it up right away. And, um, so, like, for a while, I was just sitting on the cabinet, like, just sitting there. And so I didn't think anything of it. And then I was, um, I was walking by, and I was like, oh, I wonder if my mom set up the Alexa. And she's like, how may I help you? And I was <laughs> like, oh, uh, 
thanks. And then she was just like, okay. Did you <laughs> say it out loud? Yeah. I was just like, that would be really creepy. If oh, she was yeah. Like, I was like, mm. She read my mind. No, I was like, oh, I wonder if she said of the Alexa because I was on the phone with someone. Oh. And then it lit up and I was like, oh, hello. Sorry. No, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, uh, yeah, I like them. I'm They're very nice. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is the second time I'm telling this story because we both started laughing really hard during the first time, so I'll, I'll tell it again. So my mom gave me these things. They're like, uh, they're like uh, the end of a phone char- uh, an Apple phone charger, where like the head's like this rectangle. You, pl you plug it into the outlet in the wall, then you plug like a lamp into the thing that's plugged into the wall. And you you name it like one, and you connect it to your Alexa. And then you say, Alexa, turn on one, and then it'll turn on that one, and then like it'll send the electrical current to your lamp. And you could say, turn off one, and it'll stop sending the current, and then your lamp will turn off. Shayna, <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> this is getting cut out now. Cut out now. No, that's okay. That's fair. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> uh, moving on. Did you get anything else interesting? Um, I feel like uh, most of my topics are like kind of like weird ones that are probably better fitting for a different podcast. So oh. we'll probably say that. But I mean, I don't think I have anything else. Um, uh, what did you do for I New said, Year's Eve? I said, did you get anything else? Oh, did I get anything else? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said, did you have anything else on your thing? Um... Well, uh, I got a lot of clothes, which was sick. I my... got this sweatshirt. Oh, oh Beach same. Island. Same. Um, really? I also got your sweatshirt. What? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said same because I'm wearing the sweatshirt that I got for Christmas. Uh. But, um, no, I got a lot of clothes, and then I got, um, my aunt bought me, like, an industrial-sized thing of Ferrero Rocher. There's probably, like... What? Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> Ferrero Rocher? Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> Are you struggling with that? sounds that? like Scooby-Doo. Ferrero yep. Rocher. <laughs> um, no, but it's, um, it's, like... I, I don't know why I'm making a visual. You can't see it. But, um, it's a really big pack. I think of, like, 50, um, of the chocolates. Ferrero Rocher is chocolate. Ferrero Rocher. It's chocolate? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, wait, you've never heard of a Ferrero No, I Rocher. have not. Let me look up. There's like stupid commercials. You'll definitely recognize them. Ferrero Rocher. Interesting. I got an Apple Watch. Oh. That I have not worn yet. My mom keeps telling me to wear it, but I keep forgetting because I don't wear a watch. There's a lot of ASMR on Ferrero Rocher. What? Is it like wafer? Um, yeah, it's it's um, it's a hazelnut, and then there's a wafer around that, and then more chocolate, and then it's wrapped, um, or then there's I think might be another wafer or something like that. It shows it in the commercial, and then there's hazelnuts on the outside. But I'll show you like interesting. That's the commercial for it. I'm really surprised you honestly. Oh. This one's a really old version of like the same one that. <laughs> I've seen these before. Okay. Oh. Can I have some? Yeah. Thanks. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you one of the power strips, and you give me like. Sick. Three or four of those. Three or four. That's the trade-off. I don't know. Is there a lot? There is kind of a lot, but I'll I'll grab some for you later. Thanks. But. Yeah, so, like, I got a ton of those. A lot of people bought me chocolate, and I was, like, sick. I mean, cool, but what am I going to do with all this chocolate? <laughs> I got a surprising abundance of dark chocolate. That's unfortunate for you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've eaten as much as I can. Like, I got dark chocolate-covered marshmallows, which those were all right, because the marshmallow kind of, like, oh, outdoes the dark it. chocolate. I got like a dark chocolate Santa Claus, and when I was just dying of starvation, I just, <laughs> just was like munching down on it. Um, I was gonna say it's unfortunate for you because you don't like dark chocolate, yeah. but I do. But, but. I understand. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can come in, but 
<laughs> you can come I'm in, in here, but... but <laughs> um, I mean, I'm in here, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, um, I like it a lot, but I know a lot of people that don't. I actually did, like, an Instagram poll, and a lot of people said that they'd prefer, like, milk chocolate or white chocolate over milk that. Milk chocolate is, will always be superior. Mm, disagree. Mm, I already stated that I strongly disagree with <laughs> I, that in <laughs> Bella's <laughs> Instagram thing. I disagree with you disagreeing with me, so... <clears throat> I just saw this in my uh, list of things to talk about. Uh, <laughs> It's it's like a it's like a quote unquote meme. I still see it all the time. It's my least favorite kind of meme I ever see, where it's, where it's like two people talking and they have similarities, and it ends with, "Did we just become best friends?" Yep. Ew! I don't think I've seen one of those in years. I saw one where it's it's Black Panther and Aquaman, and it's about how their movies are so similar. Ew. Yeah, and it's like, "Did we just become best friends?" Yep. Oh. Ugh. I hate those. Um, I've seen the same pa- meme like parodied like 18 times, and I'm like, how is this still getting thousands of likes? I've seen this so many times. It's like the doctor, and it's like, what's your astrology sign? And then they tell him, and then he's like, what a coincidence. <laughs> what? Like the one where the it's talking about, um, they're like, what's your sign? And they're like, cancer. And he's like, oh, what a coincidence. Oh. Yeah, it's like a dark meme, but like I just keep seeing it everywhere. Yeah, I've seen and I'm that. like, I'm like, how is this still funny to anyone? It's not. It's funny to like people who, like <laughs> really second <late>. graders. <laughs> um, I also think it's hilarious um, that uh, just every kid I assume knows Fortnite dances, like children, because I was in the mall and I was joking around and I was I was like doing the like the mask oh, the orange off dance. justice. The mask off dance. I, I refused to call it Orange Justice because it was something before Fortnite. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. And so, like, that's just me being bitter. But so, like, I was, like, joking around and pretending to do that. And then some kids saw me and started full force doing it. And I was like, oh, my God. And because it was, it was especially funny because my friend literally minutes before was just like, you're going to attract Fortnite kids. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. And it, it happened. So... Wow. You know, it'd be like that. It was weird, but... God, Fortnite. Oh, God, Fortnite. You're, like, talking oh God, about Fortnite. it as... You're res- reminiscent. You're like, oh, Fortnite. Oh, um, <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> Fort, Fortnite. Do you remember when, when people would, like, make fun of people for saying Fortnite because it, it meant two weeks and you sounded stupid? What? A Fortnite is two weeks. Really? Mm-hmm. You didn't know that? No. No, it was like people would be like, I remember um, like a year ago, it was just after the game came out, and I was like, it's been like a fortnight, and then I immediately went, no. I just like, I made a stupid joke, and then I realized that I had referenced a game that was incredibly popular. And Wait, I was like, uh, what? A uh, fortnight means two weeks? Yeah, fortnight is like old time, old time slang for two weeks. Um, I don't know, honestly. Um, it was like, you've never heard that in like... Never. Oh, man, medieval shows are probably a lot funnier now. <laughs> but, like, they're like, yeah, I should be back within a fortnight. You Really? Yeah. I want to look up One Fortnite, time. I know that that's not what's going to When Fortnite, happen. this was, like, a few months ago, maybe, like, two, three, and I was writing, and I was just bored writing random stuff, and I was like, I just wrote down, one tonight, two tonight, three tonight, <laughs> four tonight, and I Ew. thought I was hilarious. 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 Delarious. The lip sync battle tonight. I'm really upset I can't go, honestly. I'm really upset I'm not participating. Honestly. Dude, just pull up. I, I said that Ben and I should do a surprise uh, a surprise thing of Hooked on a Feeling. <laughs> with, him, with him doing the ooga chaka ooga and I'll do the singing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of sad I can't go because I thought that I had band tonight, but then I ended up not. not. Like he kind of like last minute was like something came up and we couldn't do it, so I didn't buy my ticket or anything. And I don't. I think they might be selling them at the door, but they are. I don't have a ride there because I didn't arrange one. But do what I do. Stay after school for hours on end. Just hours on end. I'll just sleep here. <clears throat> I was in here until nine o'clock. That's not fun. Why? 
Dude. Oh, drama? Uh, no. Just working. Just hanging out. Dude, uh, Nick Cannon. Have you seen his hair? I haven't. Recently? Oh my god, look up Nick Cannon. He's, he's the, like, host. Not the judges. He's not one of the judges. He's the host of Masked Singer. His hair is, like, he used to have, like, shaved hair, right? Yeah. Yeah. So just, just look up his, uh, current hair. Oh. It's basically, like, a mini afro. It's probably going to show me all old pictures of him. Oh, what? <laughs> Easy. it? That is kind of weird, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought that was weird. But The Masked Singer actually is, like, a good show. It's apparently other people have noticed that it's weird because that was one of the search results was Nick Cannon <laughs> hair masked singer. <laughs> it just, like, no shit. Let me see it again. Hair. He kind of just looks old kinda because looks like, of his hairline. Kind of looks like an older Snoop Dogg. Older Snoop Dogg? How old is Snoop Dogg? I think he's pretty old. I think he's like 58. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> but like, people keep on goofing on him. Oh, yeah, so... People are actually goofing on him. Like... Nick Cannon? Wait! What? Snoop Dogg roasted Nick Cannon. What'd he say? Bet. Bet. I think this was a while ago, maybe. Can I bring Brianna on just to finish the podcast with us? <laughs> not to be on it, just to finish. Sure. I'm trying to... It's not showing me, but apparently he posted, like, a picture and made a joke about his hair. Nick Cannon or Snoop Dogg? Um, Snoop Dogg made fun of Nick Cannon's hair. Snoop Dogg is, like... What a legend. He's cool. Not, like, cool as in, like, I want to be like him. He's cool as in, like, chill and does a lot of stuff, like movies and... Stuff like that. He's like yeah. he's like the rock, but like the weed version of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> like I always think I'm like, how much do you have to pay Snoop Dogg to be in anything? Because it seems like he's just in a lot of stuff where you're like, why? Like I wasn't he on Big Time Rush once? He was. And he was in Pitch Perfect, which isn't yeah. too weird, but uh, it's also it's kinda weird <clears throat> though. And then he was in like a Ricky Dillon music video. And, My like, mom loves uh Snoop Dogg's Christmas song from Pitch Perfect. I don't even remember to be told. Is it from the first one or the second one? It's from I think it's from the first one. Oh my god, I don't even remember him. How does being it go? Like, to be it's it's the main girl and him, and they're singing like a Christmas song. I it's like Santa Claus part. comes tonight. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, been... oh his part goes like Once Upon a Time in the LBC. Santa came, Santa came up missing. He was sitting by the tree. His reindeer was near, but the leader wouldn't lead. I don't know. <laughs> do, 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 do. What? I don't know what's happening, but... You want to call this an episode? Yep, it's been an episode. Yep. <laughs> well... Sorry, Brown texted me, meet me behind the auditorium. I'm scared. <laughs> I, I don't really know what's happening, but thanks for listening, guys. This has been a fun episode. Um, mm-hmm. This, this episode <laughs> might be a little shorter than normal, so sorry if it is, but we tried, and we just kind of got a late start. I have to be somewhere in 15 minutes. And I have to leave. So yeah. thank you guys so much for listening. It's been really cool of you. Uh, I'm sure this was a really um, eclectic podcast. So yep. um, we're going to have some more out probably next week. And we're going to record during midterms. But if we don't see you until then, um, good luck on those. Yep. And have a great day, everybody. Bye.